definitely need improvements. Just pull me to stop when I clearly have room. It's just. Yeah, I am nowhere near this close. Now it's saying unavailable. So it just kind of given up how to help me. And see? Exactly why. Uh, yeah, this is this needs more improvement. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. All right, so this is gonna be the Tesla video, Model 3. Uh, this is the first time that I'm gonna do a software upgrade. Um, I have to see what version I'm on. It looks like I am on version 23.2.200. And the new update is gonna be 23.6.9. Um, this one's gonna include the Tesla Vision. This was something that I was looking forward to, actually, when I bought this car. I, I knew that the ultrasonic sensors were going to be something that um, I was going to miss. Well, not going to have, but uh, whenever, whenever it will come, I was going to be happy to have it. So as you can see, I have no ultrasonic sensors on here. Bumper is completely smooth. I apologize. The car is dirty. So when, when I pull in to the garage, I get nothing. I get no notifications. Obviously, you what you expect that the car would behave as though it had zero sensors available. So let's do a quick test. I'm gonna pull in the garage at this point, then I'm gonna update and we'll see what we got from there. All right, so here in the car. And we're just gonna go ahead and back out and I'm gonna check behind me, you guys check the cameras. So if I pull up to this car, obviously you see nothing. It sees a car, it sees there's a car right there, but nothing happens. Get almost to I'm touching it. Pull into the garage. And it's not noticing the car at all here. Pull in. It's not even seeing the other car in the garage or the wall. So like I said, this is this is nothing out of the ordinary. This is not what I would no, nothing different here. Right now, if I want to do the software update, um, you can see here you get the little clock. But make sure your car is connected to Wi-Fi. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to get closer to my garage, inside the garage. Let me see if it pulls in Wi-Fi inside here. When I put the car in park, you can see that it's asking me to update. Obviously, I can set the time I want this to happen. And you can see there's a clock here um, in the top right corner. If I were to touch that, it will actually pull this up again. I can schedule it or I can install it now. For those who says, you know what, I don't want to be inconvenienced. Right now, I'm saying about 25 minutes to install. You know, you don't want to be like, all right, I had an appointment in 25 minutes. It's perfect. You don't want to do that. I'd rather just give yourself a little buffer of maybe, I don't know, a little longer. You know, it's like an iPhone. I don't want to push the limits. You know, if I need my phone or a certain time, I don't want to do it in the middle of the day. I'd rather do it overnight. So I'm going to do this update, and then I'll probably do it tonight. Uh, I don't know, because I had to work in the morning. Let me do it. I might do it today, 
and we'll see what happens up at the corner garage and just go from there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this update now. Uh, I have some time, to, so I'm just going ahead and install now. And here it is, just like your phone. <laughs> um, does update, and I guess I'll just wait and come back later. And actually, ironically, Lexus car needs to update too on BMW, so we'll, we'll go through that in a different video. So anyway, here in the car looks like the release note saying that I got the update. Um, looks like everything is ready to go. I just had to wash the car while I was uh, waiting for the update. So you can see how clean it looks. Very nice and shiny here. So the first thing is Let's get to the car. All right, so let's see. Put the car in drive, and I got uh, a border around the garage. That's something new. It shows me everything. So I obviously I don't see the cars, but at least it gives me some type of guidance. Better than what I had before. If I go forward. See if I creep forward. Fifteen inches. Let's check my phone to see if that right. Thirty four inches in the rear. Let's go to park. measurement tool here on my phone. I think it's pretty accurate. So let's say a point here. And it's in about 34 inches, right? To the garage. side it's hard to tell the measurements here I think it might be all right this is what uh, While the numbering may not be accurate, I will say it's a step in the right direction. Um, other cars that I've had sensors on before, obviously they don't give you, um, you don't really get a number. It's just more of a tone of a range. Um, while I think they probably shouldn't give you a number right away, I think there should be more calibration and I think there are just, honestly, I think sensors just can't be replaced. But I'm gonna give it a fair chance. I'm not gonna knock it right now. Like I said, this is the first time I'm rolling out. I have something, these, if I'm pulling up to a parking block, something's warning me that I'm getting close, whether or not I wanna take the chance how I wanna thread the needle. But um, yeah, I'll see what happens in the day of future, if there's future updates to make it more accurate. Definitely need improvements. Just pull me to stop when I clearly have room. It's just... Yeah, I am nowhere near this close. Now it's saying unavailable, so it just kind of given up how to help me. And see, exactly why. Uh, yeah, this is this needs more improvement. All right, so I made the video about Tesla Vision. Um, I'm gonna do another software update, but first I'm gonna show you the difference. So my main complaint with Tesla Vision so far is so it's more to do with. Uh, when you're backing up, especially doing curb or something, I feel like there's an issue. So if I 
go forward or say reverse. And through, I like how it detects the edge of the driveway. You can see a little bit of the line. I see it's confused right there. I want to do back to back tests on some of the glitches here that I noticed. Forward. That's a detect the curb. Sometimes it does that and then it tells me to stop. Okay. Usually I go in reverse. Let's try reverse. Alright. So this is where I noticed the biggest issue as the car pitches down and detects the curb. Let's see. And sometimes if I go in, see right there. If I went fast enough, you'll just see as I stop. See? So. Measurements, um, let's see. See, you can see that clearly is telling me to stop. All right, so anyway, I guess I can go ahead and do a software update and go from there. All right, you be the judge.